Have you ever had a challenge in Photoshop where you have to match colors exactly? For example, I want this dress to be exactly the same color as this fish. I'm going to show you how to do that right now inside of Photoshop using curves. <laughs> Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. So anyway, just a couple of days ago, I dropped a tutorial on how to use curves inside of Photoshop. I explained how curves worked, how you could use them to adjust the tones and the colors in your photos. Now this was very popular um, as evidenced by all the comments and the likes and everything. Thanks guys for that, by the way. Um, so if you want to learn the basics of curves, Check out that other tutorial. I'm going to give you the link underneath in the comments. What I'm going to do in this tutorial, though, is we're going to pick up where that left off, and I'm going to show you how to use curves to perfectly precisely match any color and change any color to match it inside of Photoshop. So here we go. We've got this picture of a woman in a yellow dress, and I chose a fish. Now, why did I choose a fish? Because I just realized that nature is a great place for inspiration. If you look at how the colors go together in nature, things like fish or trees, plants, these flowers, different things, you can use them as a clue. So the reason I chose this fish, I believe it's a parrotfish, is because it's got the yellow here, which you'll see in her hat, which I want to keep. And it's matching with blue. So I'm using nature as an inspiration to pick up these colors. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make this top here, this dress, this exact shade of blue. So what I'm going to do, first of all, before we do anything, is I'm going to change the mode of this. So we're going to go under Image, Mode. And right now, this is an RGB, which is red, green, and blue. We're going to change this to Lab Mode. And by the way, I created a, another tutorial on, uh, on doing some stuff in Lab, and I'll, I'll link to that tutorial as well. So what we're going to do here is we don't want to flatten the image. And you'll notice it still looks the same, but what it's done under the channels now is it's changed it from being RGB, which is red, green, and blue, to LAB, which is a lightness channel. And let me show you here. The lightness affects just the grayscale value, and then it separates it from the color. So if we go to the A channel, well, let me turn it on here, and the B channel, you can see those two together make up the colors inside of the images, whereas the luminosity is the L channel. So basically that's how it works. And what we want to do is open up info. So we're going to choose window and we're going to grab our info panel. Now our info panel is really useful and this gives us the values. And you can see here LAB, so this is our lab values. If I move over here, you'll see that this color, this blue color is constructed of, you know, 39, 40, and minus 95. Notice this is moving around a lot. Why is this moving around so much? Because if we look under sample size, it's set to point sample, which means it's going to sample an individual pixel. So if we change this to say a five by five average, now it's going to not move around as much. And in fact, we could even go to an 11 or even a 31, and you'll notice we're going to get much more consistent values. I'm going to grab an about an 11 by 11 here. And you'll see that we've got 37, 47, and minus 98. That's what makes up that blue color in lab. The yellow color, if we look at it here, the lightness value is 77. And then we see we've got 12 and 79 for the color. So what we need to do is change the values of that yellow to match the values of the blue. And then we're going to get an exact match. I know this seems complicated right now, but watch the steps. It's actually quite easy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this under the eyedropper. I'm going to hold it down and we're going to see we've got another option, which is a color sampler tool. So I'm just going to click to add a color sample. And what that does is it pins it there and we can see now that that color sample is 38, 44 and minus 97. So I'm also going to find an area of yellow on the dress. So right here is good. And you'll see the second one here is 78, 11 and 80. Okay, so we've now pinned those in here. Okay, so I'm just going to hide this fish for a sec, and I want to make a selection around her dress. Okay, so we want to select her dress. So why don't we just go under Select, and we're going to grab our color range here. So we go under Select, Color Range. 
And what we're going to do is grab the plus tool here and uh, selection preview if it goes weird like that. So let's grab our first sampler and we're just going to click on the yellow to select that yellow. Then we're going to grab the one with the plus and we're just going to kind of move it around so we can select that yellow. I'm just kind of dragging through those different yellow values and we're watching up here to see where we select it. So let me increase it a little bit until I've selected just that area. We can see it's looking quite good. And let's increase that fuzziness a little bit more. And we're gonna click OK. And we can see we've got a couple of areas that we wanna add there. So what I'm gonna do with my quick selection tool is I'm just gonna click and drag on those areas to just add those to the selection. Okay, and we're just gonna go into select to mask for a second just to kind of clean up the selection a little bit on the edges. So I'm gonna grab this tool here, the refine tool, and just kind of go over where the hair is to see if we can get a slightly better selection. Now, I don't wanna spend a whole ton of time on this because I have lots of other tutorials on doing selections and I just wanna focus on the color here. So please forgive me if I don't take the time to make perfect selections here. Selection. And let's turn our fish back on. Awesome. Okay, at this point, what we wanna do now is we're gonna create a curve underneath. So we're gonna go under here and we're gonna grab a curves adjustment. So here's the curves. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use this point to sample our color. So in the curves, make sure this little finger thing is turned on. And I wanna select all the channels, so I'm gonna hold down Command Shift on Mac and that's Control Shift on Windows and click right in the middle of that point right there, boom. And then what we've done now is we've added that point to our curve. Now you can see there's two values. There's an input and an output. If we look at everything right now, these are all the input values are on the left. The output values are on the right. So we want to match these colors, these numbers here. So we want these to be the same. So what we're going to do is under the L, which is lightness, we're going to select the output. And instead of being 78, we're going to change it to 38. Now we're going to go under the next channel, which is the A channel. And instead of being 12, well, it's now changed to 12, but it was 11 before, 44. Now we're going to go to the B channel. And if we look at that, the value we want is minus 97. So we're going to change the output to minus 97. And then when we do that, notice we get that blue color right there. So we've kind of matched that. Okay, so let's go in, we're gonna hide the fish. And we can see that we've mostly got it. There's a little bit of tweaking that we've got to do here. And why don't we just go into B channel here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this point here and we're just gonna pull this down. And notice as we're pulling this point down, you can see that the red is now becoming blue. And we can see now we've matched the color of that fish the yellow and blue onto her. All right, so there's still one more step we need to do so we can bring this back into RGB mode and continue to work. Um, by the way, I have a question. What's your favorite color combination? Drop a comment underneath and let me know. So anyway, what we wanna do now is we're just gonna hide this fish and then we're gonna take our adjustment layer and just drag it down underneath. Um, cause we're going to go back into RGB mode. Now, before you do that, I would recommend, you know, there's some little rims and areas like this that we need to touch up. Just go into the mask there, paint with white and just touch that up. Like I said, we're not going to spend the time to do that on here because this is a tutorial on color. So what we're going to do is we're going to select these two and hit control E or command E and we're going to merge those down. And there's our fish. You can see that. And now we're just going to go back to image mode and we're gonna to go to RGB color. It's gonna ask if we wanna flatten it. We don't wanna flatten it. And here we are, we're now back in RGB mode. When you convert from lab mode into RGB mode, your adjustment layers will be lost. That's why I merged that curve into that layer. So anyway, I'm curious, have you guys ever used lab before? So anyway, if you like this video, smash that like button into dust. And by the way, if you like these kind of tutorials, consider subscribing to Photoshop Cafe and hit that little notification bell because I do a new tutorial every single week 
and I'd love you to be notified when that comes out. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.